Hey guys, it's LBS Honey and welcome back to another video. So today it's it's finally happening. I know I'm a little late, but better late than never because ya girl managed to get 10 of the new Keep Me Pets. Oh my gosh. So if you're wondering where I purchased these from, I bought them from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description down below to the listing if I can. It has been like selling out and then getting restocked so I'm not sure if it's still in stock at the time of this video going up. Hopefully it is because I can't find it here in Australia so this was the only way I was able to get them. I know that they are available at Target in America so if you live in America maybe just check Target's website but either way I'm gonna get straight into it like I said we have 10 here there are 12 different designs to collect so I'm definitely not getting a full set but I'm not that worried about it because there's only a couple LPS that I really really want I've tried my hardest to avoid all videos made on these pets till I got them myself because I didn't want any spoilers but this is what the packaging looks like. It's very cute. I mentioned in my video where I talked about how LPS were finally getting made for 2020 that the packaging is adorable. It's like a little dog house. You can see a little pet peeking through. There's one on the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this tape off and I think you just open it up to reveal the pet. It also says wave one on the back which is kind of exciting. So hopefully this is a successful launch for Hasbro because if it is, we may be seeing a wave 2 in the future which would be awesome. And remember guys, this is subject to availability or selon les stocks. Let's open up our first box. Oh that's so cute. I think you like, <gasps> okay you pull this open. This is such cute packaging. So I think this is the pet and oh. I'm not sure where the other accessories are, if they come with any, so I think this is just a warning pamphlet. And then we have some stickers. <gasps> There's a pamphlet at the back. Oh my gosh, you guys know how much I love the pamphlets. So we have some stickers, which whatever. <laughs> then we have, oh my gosh, a pamphlet. Ugh. I need to have a look at this. But where's the... <gasps> Is it like a hidden door underneath? We are in. So I think there's an accessory under here. It's kind of hard to like show on camera. Let me try and... Can you guys kind of see in there? I'm not sure. It's like a hidden board under the floor. And then there's a little baggie in there. Which I think that's it. Yeah. That's kind of cute. You know what this house reminds me of? If any of you guys have seen Courage the Cowardly Dog. With like the purple aesthetic and the wood flooring. I don't know, it just looks really cute. And I love that you can keep it as a little dog house. You could probably just cut this part off. That's really adorable. So when I open this many new pets, it's tradition around here to take a look at the pamphlet. So here it is. Oh, so on the back we have some of the pets. I'm assuming that you might be able to get in here. On the back, I know you can get this frog in the Keep Me Packs. And then on the back we have the checklist. So we have dream pets, <laughs> I assume. Then we have exotic pets and popular pets. Well, Hasbro knows what the people want. The cats and dogs are in the popular pets. I would sincerely like to know who named these LPS though, because we have some normal names like Cedric, which, it, I mean, it's a, it's a name, you know. I wouldn't really call my pet Cedric, but fair enough. And then we have this one down here, Misty Moonlight. That's acceptable. But then we have Window Pane, Cozy Corner, Morning Dew. Morning Dew is not that bad, but like Lake House. My man is called Lake House, Lawn Lover. Veranda. Who named these pets? <laughs> like there's normal names and then there's Lake House. <laughs> I don't know if these stickers are an indication of what animal we got because it's looking kind of dog themed here. But we'll open up the pet first. So uh, I can't believe I finally have these you guys. Let's see. <gasps> oh it's the hedgehog. This is not a dog at all. <laughs> Oh, he's kind of cute. 
I feel like he got a bit of slack, like he definitely wasn't the cutest looking from the promotional pictures, but I think he's really adorable. What do you guys think? Let me know. Like the colors are definitely pastel, he's very very pastel, but I think he's pretty cute. I love the color of his nose as well. And I also want to see what accessories these come with. So, oh the autofocus, what do we get? <gasps> Glasses? Oh, yes, please. I love LPS glasses so much. How do I put these on you? Let's get you looking snazzy. They don't really fit. <laughs> please, I just want you to look cute in glasses. Please. Please. You know, the idea and thought was there. The execution, however, was not the best. His head's a bit too big, so it looks a bit goofy, but I'm sure it will fit other LPS better. Like, honestly, it fits my mascot pretty good. So, that was our first Keep Me Pet out of the 10 I bought, so I have 9 more to open. What I'm going to do is actually change to my regular filming space, just because it's a bit easier to show you the pets close up. And we'll open up the other 9. Move you guys out the way, because literally nobody watched that video, and... Uh, <laughs> If that ain't depressing, I don't know what it is. Oh, and I can't forget our little hedgehog friend for moral support here. Please bring me good luck and no doubles. Mwah. Box number two. Let's get it, ladies and gents. Please give me the calico cat. That's all I want in my life. And please. Okay. Oh. That ain't looking too good. The stickers are the same. Oh no, did I get another hedgehog? Oh no, please. <laughs> Not the second one. Oh, get this trash out of here. Brother. Wake up. I'm kidding. It's not that bad. I mean, it sucks to get a double, especially because I wasn't allowed to, like, choose my blind box. I'm just hoping that they didn't send me 20 hedgehogs because that would probably crush my soul. Uh, but it would make an interesting custom, actually. I'd love to make a pastel blue one so we can have pink and blue. So I may do that. I'm not going to open the accessory because it's the same sunglasses. So there's no point showing you guys that. So let's just move on to the next one and hope it's <laughs> not a hedgehog. So I actually read online that these LPS actually have numbers on the back of the boxes that can help you tell which pet you're going to get. And I, I'm pretty sure it's this number here. So this one's 12. I don't know like how accurate that information is, but let's hope it's not another hedgehog, another 12 hedgehog. Um, I don't think I cut this right. Wow. Yo oh, I ripped it. Okay. This one's a bit of a mess. Oh no, is that the same? Oh, please. Oh no, it's different color. Kind of, like the back's a different color. Let's just see. I'm, I'm scared. Please, 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 please. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, please focus, please, please. Oh, cute! Okay, maybe it was right because this is a different one and the number's back different on the back. This was number 12 and I looked at the back of the hedgehog one and it was number 7. So maybe the numbers do mean like a different pet. But here, I'm going to say this is a girl. For me personally she's very cute it is a mold we've seen before and we've also seen the hedgehog before but i like the colors it, the whole thing is very like pastel vibes so far so i think her accessories are also glasses because they were ripped when i bought them out but she comes with these stylish green glasses they kind of remind me of when you get like cucumbers on your eyes at spas so let me put these on <laughs> Oh my god. I kind of wish they weren't green. If they were a clear plastic, it would make like perfectly nerdy glasses. I could definitely still use them being green, but it would have just been so cute if they were clear. So this is number four, and on the back the number is also four. So I thought I'd let you guys know the numbers in case like it is actually true and the numbers decide what pet you're getting. Take it out. Inside. Oh, okay, we got like a uh, underwater theme going on, so I'm going to assume it's maybe like an aquatic animal, maybe a frog. So, let's see. 
we have oh my god it is a frog <laughs> so we have this little froggy boy i really like him i know he's very like generic and plain but i like him i love the orange spots on him as well i love this one in his eye i wish he had one on the other eye but i like him i think he's cute hasbro's definitely done worse lds so i'm trying to be very optimistic about these pets because i know it could be worse so <laughs> his oh is this a bow or glasses i thought it was glasses but it might be a bow i'm not really sure but either way, it looks like they're all coming with like glasses or bows or something like that. Which is pretty cool because I always appreciate clothes. Because girl, if you make LPS videos, you know how stressful dressing up your LPS can be. Because there's like a billion possible combinations for clothes. <laughs> what is this? Somebody please tell me what's going on because I have no idea. I tried to put it on it like glasses, but it's way too small for how wide his eyes are apart. So I really don't know what this is meant to be. I couldn't get it on the back of his head like a bow. So somebody please let me know what exactly this thing is. Because it's just not fitting right on Miss Your Frog here. I mean, I guess it could be glasses. They kind of look like a superhero mask. So I'm just going to assume they're glasses. Just a very odd pair. Another reason why I'm trying to be so positive about these pets is because as long as it's not a double, it's a win. If that makes sense like even though I'm happy with doubles because I can always use them for trades or customs it's always nice to get new LBS that you don't already have so our next keep me pet is number 11 I don't think I've opened an 11 I opened a 12 so hopefully this will be different and it does look like the uh, the information was true that if the numbers different on the back it's a different pet however this is the same color color as one I got before so maybe I did open an 11 oh no <laughs> Let, let's find out so what pet did we get give it a focus <gasps> oh my god 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 oh oh he is precious <gasps> I'm done I'm done oh no lie, this was my second favorite pet out of the whole, like, wave one. The Calico Cat was my favorite, but this was my second favorite. He has beans for eyebrows. I think this is my first LPS in this particular mold, and I think it's so cute. I'm not sure what breed it is. It kind of looks like a beagle a bit. <laughs> I really don't know. So if somebody knows what breed this dog is, please let me know in the comments down below. But I love his body. It's just like so small and cute. And he has a little like button tail. I really, really like this pet. Oh, and something I didn't mention before is that they kept the same LPS engraving on the back. Usually they change it up every time it's a new like generation or like series of LPS. But it looks like they kept it the same as the previous like series they've done. Like the Fortune Pets and the Hungry Pets. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that before I forget. But he is so precious. I really want to see what glasses he comes with. So let me get in here. Ugh. Do I just have like big hands? Because I am struggling. Okay, there we go. So he came with some... Oh, he came with the same kind as the frog. A blue version. These actually look really pretty together. Wow. I was thinking you could actually like cut off the arms of the glasses, the lens arms, and just use them as bows if you really wanted to. If that makes sense. Like I think that that would be really cute. If you didn't really like them as glasses, you could definitely use them as bows. My autofocus is actually terrible today. I am so sorry. But, uh, <laughs> there he is. I kind of like this look on him. It definitely suits him more than the frog. So that's pet number was number 11, I think I said. And this pet's number is number 9. So, hopefully it would be a pet we don't already have. If I can get my finger under there. Please have mercy on me, Hasbro. Make it easy for me, girl. Okay, there we go. So, let us see... 
Oh, okay, so we have a purple colored one. All right, all right, we got a backpack, fish, maybe a cat, maybe the calico cat. Oh my God, please, I'm praying. Everyone press circle with me. Let's go, autofocus, you too. <laughs> okay, please, the moment of truth. Is it, is it? No, but it is one we don't have. And it's a uh, Siamese, which is really cute. They have done one like this in the past, I'm pretty sure. I might have to go check my LPS, but she's very pretty. She looks rich. Like, she looks like she could be the daughter of a CEO in a series. Yes, my father is the head of a billion dollar company. And what's it to you? My battery's about to run out, but let's quickly look at the glasses she comes with before that happens. Oh, did she just come with the exact same ones as I got before? Oh, unfortunately she comes with the exact same glasses that came with the hedgehog, which I personally don't think really suit her, but I guess it's nice to have extra glasses. If you're gonna make a squad, a little crew with matching outfits, you can definitely use these glasses. Not a very threatening gang, but you know. So our seventh box is a number 11, which is a little worrying because I'm pretty sure this dog here was number 11. So we're just gonna have to open it up and see, hope for the best maybe. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a double. So let's just open them up straight away and find out. So, oh, okay. So it is a double, but it's actually a double of this one. Which I am completely fine with because I would love to customize this one. I know some people are going to absolutely hate me for that. But... It's my LBS, so hit. But yeah, um, I'd love to customize him. So I'm not mad about that. That is definitely an LPS I would be happy to get a double of. So let's move on. We have three left, meaning three more chances to get the Calico Cat. Please, Hasbro, give me the Calico Cat. Guys, it ain't looking good. This one's number 12, and we've already opened a 12. So let's just double check yeah you can already see it through the packaging it's this one this was number 12 so I'm just gonna stick you back in there and maybe I'll use you in a future giveaway my 200,000 giveaway if I can ever start shipping stuff overseas oh no okay we have two left let me just check the numbers right now so I don't get disappointed so we have 10 I don't think I've opened a 10 I don't think so we have hope and this one is five. I don't think I opened a five either. So, oh my God, please. I'm gonna open 10 first. The suspense is killing me. Oh, please, please, please. <gasps> is it, is it? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> if you could see my face right now, I literally have the biggest smile on my face. Like no joke, I have been having a terrible day today and honestly a terrible week because like my videos haven't been performing that well and uh, I've just I've just not been having a good time so oh my god this is the best I can't believe I got her and the second last pet oh here she is oh what a precious little thing my twin my cousin actually I should say my cousin has come to visit her eyes are wide wow <laughs> but my cousins come to visit look at us oh we are so cute together honestly she kind of looks like my mascot's mom but i'm gonna keep her as a cousin i love her oh i'll definitely do close-up shots after i've opened everyone but look at this duo this is gorgeous they should have just named her honey honestly i'm just saying hasbro <laughs> But let's take a look at a sticker quickly. So this is the sticker she comes with. And for those of you wondering, her number is 10, like I mentioned. So if you're going to buy these in store and you want the Calico Cat, because I know that a lot of people really liked this pet, look for box number 10, because that's her number. Uh, but let's see what glasses she came with really quick. Bop. I hope it's cute glasses. Like maybe some love heart shaped ones or something like that. Oh, they kind of look red. 
Oh, okay. Oh, we got floral. All right, I can take that. I mean, <laughs> it fits a little funny. Like, it feels a tiny bit big for her head. But I, I can make it work, kind of. So that means our last box is number five, like I mentioned. I actually want to take a quick look at the pamphlet and see like who else I want that I haven't gotten. So we actually ended up getting every single popular pet except the rabbit. I mean, the rabbit might be in there for all I know, but that's pretty crazy that we didn't get many of the other ones. We got the frog. I'd love to get the goat. I really love his colors, very realistic and cute. And I actually quite like this one up here. I know it's not super popular because it is an older, it kind of looks like a G4 pet, honestly, but I kind of like it. So hopefully we can get the goat or like this Chicha tiger pet up here. I'm not really sure what it is. So lucky last number five. Let's see who we got. So take you out. Here is your stickers. These are orange ones. Oh, I just dropped one of my pets off screen. So it's the same. Oh, it's got a different color. Oh, it's a bit different. Yeah, let's see who we got. So no way. You are joking. You are actually kidding me. This is not real. I am, I'm dreaming right now. This cannot be real. I can't believe I got him. His head is super bobbly and his colors are so gorgeous. He's very like caramel themed, you know? He's got like chocolate and caramel. I'm just thinking about dessert, honestly, but I really love him. Again, this isn't a new mold. I don't think any of these pets are new molds. I, I, this one might be a new one, I'm not sure, um, but I really love the colors they used. Very, very pretty colors. So let's see what glasses he got. So for our glasses, we have, oh, the these look like the pink version of these green ones. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the pink color, actually. It kind of reminds me of like a watermelon, like a watermelon lollipop. So let me get this over your little cheek fur there. <laughs> he looks like a scientist, like a mad scientist. Look at these two. What a pair. <laughs> I think it suits him better than it does the dog. I just, I don't know. I love how this looks. It's giving me strong scientist. Like, look at him. I'm ready to do some experiments right now. So what I'm going to do is line them all up without their glasses on, just so you can get a better look at the pets. And then I'll give my final thoughts because I am very happy with these pets. I think Hasbro did a good job. They definitely listened more than they have in the past. Like, I feel like a lot of people didn't really like the Fortune Pets that much. And for me personally, there were a few cute ones in the Fortune Pets. I'm not going to lie. But overall, they weren't the best. So I'm happy that they listened to the LPS community. They gave us more dogs and cats, which was awesome because everyone loves dogs and cats. But they also did some really cool colors and designs as well, like the pastel hedgehog and the green and frog. The pets I got, excluding the doubles, of course. Like I mentioned, I'm probably going to use the hedgehog for a custom and maybe this puppy as well. But I'll definitely put this one in a giveaway. I've been getting a lot of questions about my giveaway actually. Like how do I enter? When is it coming? The giveaway isn't open yet. I'm going to be doing it once shipping returns to normal. Um, it's still kind of odd here in Australia. Like certain packages are allowed and certain ones aren't. So just bear with me because it is coming eventually. Here they all are together. Like I said, I just still cannot believe that I managed to get this calico cat in the second last box. I was just incredibly lucky. And I hope this video was good for you guys to watch, to take a look at these new pets. I definitely think they're worth it. I was a little worried because you never know what Hasbro is going to do, but I was very pleasantly surprised with these pets. They are very cute. Of course, they're no G2, but they're definitely a lot better than the Fortune pets, which we previously had. Also, finally come with some wearable accessories, which is awesome. I would have loved to have seen some collars, so hopefully in Wave 2, we can maybe get some collars for our LBS Hasbro. 
because that would be awesome. Of course, along with the Keep Me Pets that I opened today, Hasbro also released a few more larger packs of LPS. I haven't been able to find them anywhere online as of right now, but as soon as I'm able to get them for a decent price, I will definitely try and buy some and open them up on the channel as well. It's just a bit hard to track down living in Australia, and I'm sure you guys can relate who don't live in America because it seems like at the moment most of the LPS are getting released in America so it's a little bit hard for us out here. There's a few things I quickly wanted to mention before I wrap up this video. I mentioned that there was a Siamese cat that looked like this one and here she is. She definitely has more of a grey color to her of course as you can see but it's the same kind of concept with the darker ears and darker face so I would really love it if Hasbro did different designs on this cat mold, not just Siamese cats all the time. I think it would be really cool. I mean, these two don't look anything alike, but it's just the same kind of pattern. And another thing I quickly wanted to mention is, like I said, all of the LPS that were in these Keep Me packs have been done before. None of them are new molds. But I would really love it if Hasbro did some new molds or even did some molds that we've seen before but only maybe once or twice. Like these pets here are so cute and I love how they look but we've only seen them made maybe once or twice at the most. So I would love it if Hasbro did some more unique designs like these in some different colors because I literally only have one cat in this mold. So I'd love it if they did other colors and designs and maybe not 20 different frogs. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to see this poodle here without the fuzzy hair. If Hasbro could make that in the future, that would be so cute. I think a lot of us would love to see this pet without the fuzzy hair. It's a very cute mold, but they only made the one. I know I might seem a little picky, but that's just my personal opinions on what I'd love to see from Hasbro in the future. I'm going to support the pets, even if they do have the same molds with similar designs. I would just love to see some more variety. But please let me know in the comments down below what you think of these pets and what you'd like to see in the future. I really, really love these pets. I'm so glad that Hasbro is still making them. I feel like we were all a bit unsure and then they just kind of dropped these out of nowhere and it really brought some spirit up in the community, I feel like. So big shout out to Hasbro for releasing these. Like I said, I did purchase mine from Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go buy it if it's still available. And um, just thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.